hello viewers today i will show you how to use uh, server pilot with your vps or um, with your digital ocean or space any type of uh, cloud hosting which has uh, uh, root access so first you have to sign up on it already i have signed up sign up is quite easy just put your email and password and then just click sign up then it will automatically sign up then you can easily log in with your username and password after activation of your email uh, in server pilot then just click login yes it wait for few seconds then it shows that welcome and connect your first server now you can add more than one server and spin up a server at your favorite provider connect it to server pilot we will install everything you need to host PSP apps like WordPress so connect a server so here is the server your server must be ubuntu 64 bit only clean servers no nginx apache or mysql nester can be connected to server pilot so um, one thing they have to tell us that uh, we must have a ubuntu server and uh, only clean servers no nginx and apache or mysql nester nothing will be installed in there it will be a fully clean server so i have to clean my server first so wait for a few seconds so i will just start uh, connecting uh, server pilot to my server and just click connect to server pilot and uh, it asks for uh, um, to your user pass either sftp to your apps so let's wait. So I have to put my SFTP password and uh, then I will click connect to server pilot and let's wait for a few seconds and uh, don't update. So checking server uh, 45 seconds remaining and uh, we will uh, resume the our video until it is ready. So if we see um, it is installing server pilot and 25 cents re remaining um, and it starts uh, server configuration we have to wait and now it is configuring IP tables updating server packages installing Apache web server. work is going on configuring apache with htaccess and mod rewrite support installing nginx web server so if you check i am using a uh, digital ocean and it shows my droplet name uh, by default on top yarith and now it is configuring mysql installing postfix mail transfer agent and uh, enabling automatic package updates enabling system creating server pilot ss and stp user and uh, installing later version of psp and this is 7.2 and uh, it is enabling it and other version of psp so we have to wait we just see it until it is finished I am using digital ocean but you can use any other hosting and uh, yes it's done great you are ready to create your first app on this server so our next part is uh, creating an app actually creating a, a, an app means uh, adding a domain uh, to server pilot let's do it so here is the app section and uh, if we wish to create an app so we just click on create an app yes and uh, this is the uh, this will be another domain name so i will just put my name like i will 
add one of my domain here so like devs garage one of my domain <coughs> devs garage so if i check and uh, this this will be my sorry so this is my app name and uh, this is this will be my domain name devs garage dot net dot net and uh, by default you can install wordpress but i will do it manually if you check it uh, then you will automatically it will automatically install your wordpress but i will not do it and uh, later i will choose my uh, php version it is 5.6 and server and the server will be the droplet name and system will be the server pilot it will by default you can keep it by default and uh, remember that server will be the droplet name if you had more uh, more than one server you just choose it from uh, here list and just click create app and uh, your app is ready and this is your uh, ss or sftp user server pilot you can uh, change this name i mean uh, system user you can add new system user and and put it here uh, i keep the default one and uh, and uh, it's the web root of your product i mean apps devs garage public i mean whenever you put, um, upload any file through your ftp or sftp then it, it will upload there so here here is the database section i mean create mysql database and um, let's uh, try to install a wordpress site uh, through server pilot i mean do it actually though it shows it here but it actually works with your uh, digital ocean droplet let's work with it first so we have already add our uh, domain and uh, you can add your uh, if, if you wish to upgrade server pilot then you can use manage ssl uh, as it is a free version that so there is no way to see it so let's uh, do upload a uh, i mean uh, wordpress and uh, uh, manually install it so that we can easily understand so let's first we will uh, entering on our um, i mean on our uh, sftp to upload uh, WordPress, WordPress files manually. Let's do it. So this is our server. I mean this one, IP. Hold a second. So I am inside my uh, SFTP. I am not showing to uh, because I I, I am uh, missing it because I am not adding to uh, adding this video to show you because you I I know already you know how to use uh, SFTP. I am using win scp client so here is the apps folder and it shows uh, remember one thing web root will be apps devs garage public so we will entering on it apps then we will click devs garage then we will click public and here we entering our uh, if you check this here is a uh, index php file we can test it we, c uh, we don't need to add yes we will add wordpress here so let's wait for a few seconds uh, so if you check uh, our wordpress uh, files are uploaded and uh, it is on our uh, if, if we check the directory if we see, uh, this is server pilot apps tips garage public directory according to the tell us apps dip garage public directory so it is it uh, so we will install it now we will make a database so click on database then put a database name something like i will put the same name as database a it has like devs garage uh, at the apps name so here is the database name and then click on create sorry one minute create database apps name and it will automatically create a username and password so So if you check it, uh, I already put my database names and here is the password, I will just copy it and paste it with notepad and put my database name to username. 
and so here is my uh, database names also same uh, uh, so just click create now and remember one thing uh, you have to write it uh, with the first field and then uh, second field would be created automatically then click create here it is and uh, this is our database so uh, if we check in a look uh, our domains is ready our database is ready and uh, we have uploaded after entering uh, uh, through sftp we have uploading um, in the right directory um, the wordpress files we already where we get the directory and uh, if we check it I mean from the apps section if we go there and uh, from the settings section we will see our web root is in dips garage public and the PHP version is ready so this is our SFTP user so everything is ready and now let's do in installation or WordPress let's do so uh, as I am not adding uh, the my database name server um, so I will start working with my IP let's start with it hold a second so this is how you can actually um, uh, working with server pilot and if you wish to add another website just click a create app and another website and uh, uh, I am not going to show everything actually you know how to install WordPress uh, you just have to change name server I mean devs garage if you check the settings and uh, uh, you have to change um, uh, dev server I mean from the domains you have to change the name server of it um, according to your need um, so uh, name server I will suggest if you use server pilot I will suggest to use uh, cloud player for it then it will be very easy for you to get a custom name server and use it um, to your uh, any domain provider I will show you next how to um, set up I mean custom name server uh, with the uh, cloud flare and um, uh, with the domain name so that's for all um, today thank you for watching take care bye bye one thing okay 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 before end i have to tell you uh, server pilot does not uh, uh, i mean work, uh, the server pilot does not work with email hosting so uh, if you use server pilot you have to host your email either you use your gmail ac account or you can host your email with third party provider so that's the end thank you for watching take care bye bye